Okay, so who's speaking out? Moms with genuine concern for their children. That's how it started for us in Lee County. Advocates for the removal of Common Core. Advocates for the removal of all accountability. Advocates for accountability. In our district, we call them the silent majority. There are people out there that believe in what's being done and they have no issue with the testing. And I would tell you that's your more informed, your more informed group of uh, parents and, and business people. Educators are speaking out, non-educators are speaking out, informed citizens are speaking out, uninformed citizens are speaking out, and politicians are speaking out, and a lot of talk show radio hosts are speaking out. <laughs> I will tell you in all these in many of these cases, it's a calculated strategic attempt to move forward a personal agenda. What's, what's been amazing to me is how someone can speak absolute conviction with absolute conviction and passion and nothing they say is accurate. <laughs> but it becomes believable because they say it so passionately. And so that's kind of what happened. And so, so the board, um, the board, by the way, the pretend grandmother comes to every meeting. So the board, <laughs> so the board, the board chatted a little bit. And then out of nowhere, one of the board members says, I want to. Uh, motion that we opt out of all state required testing effective immediately. And then he got, and then he got a second. And I think what happened? There no surprises. And then he got a second. And then there really wasn't a whole lot of discussion. And uh, then I, this will surprise you. The reporters wanted to talk to us, and um, and I said to the communications director, I'm not talking to any reporters until I talk to news directors and I talk to publishers of the print media because they're getting it all wrong. Because the headlines, it was awful. The next day what was in the news was no offense, but it was inaccurate and it was just wrong. I'm going to tell you this. This is going to happen in your community that hasn't already. And so I'm going to encourage you. Um, it's important to find a win for these folks. And if we find a win for them, it's a win for us. So it's important to find a win. And I'm also going to tell you that it's important that these um, that educators remain in the conversation. Sometimes we're left out, and we don't know everything, but we, we do know children, and we do know what it takes for children to learn, and we do know that rigor matters. And there are a lot of people that went to school that believe it ought to be like it was when they went to school. We are so past that. And a lot of who we're dealing with are those who believe we should go back to the schoolhouse where a teacher makes a child feel good and it'll be great. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to raise. We're going to raise a generation of children that are going to be unable to compete globally.